I am Rebecca and these are my reviews and today I have a shaker and spoon box. So a couple weeks ago I did an East Bevco box that was a cocktail box and you guys suggested shaker and spoon so that's what I have here. I did buy this box, they didn't send it to me and I haven't tried making any of the cocktails yet but I'm super excited to. This one is their American whiskey box. Every month they have a different theme and when you subscribe you can opt to skip a theme if you are not that interested like last month's was based on tea like earl grey tea or something and i was like eh, not that interested but the whiskey one i really wanted to try so you can subscribe or you can just gift this to somebody if you just want to do a one-off box you know for a birthday or father's day or whatever reason you have to send a gift to somebody. Now is the time to drink your cocktails at home, right? Nobody's going to the bars. So uh, I'm gonna make some cocktails tonight and then Colin is making a steak for dinner. So this box comes with the mixings for three cocktails and then I just went to Total Wines and More and picked up this whiskey, which was one of their recommended. They had three different ones that they recommended. This was actually the only one that I could find. This is Balcones, I don't know, baby blue made from roasted blue corn. And this is an original Texas whiskey. This one I guess has been around since Prohibition or before Prohibition. They had a bunch of different ones. They had a really smoky one that I wanted to try, but that one was like $50. This one I think was 35. It smells really good. Anyway, let's get to making some cocktails. They give you all sorts of ingredients uh, and you're supposed to be able to make, I think it's four of each one. And it did have three lemons in the box, but uh, I've had this box for a couple of weeks and two of the lemons are now just green balls of fuzz. So, uh, you know, if you get this box, take the fruit out right away. I was sick the last couple of weeks, so that's why I didn't make it right away. Okay, so I have all of these fun ingredients and if you go on the website, they will tell you what other things you will need, you know, as far as barware and any other ingredients. Although they seem to be pretty good about all of these ingredients, uh, you just need to supply your own booze. And like I said, they recommend booze for you. So, which I think is really cool. Okay, so this one, the first one I'm going to make is the Hygroscopy? I'm probably not saying that right. Hygroscopy till you droppy. And then it tells you a little blurb about how it was created and based on and blah, blah, blah. An oleosaccharum, oh you guys. The liquid result of sugar drawing out the oils of citrus peels is the foundation for this cocktail's bright winter cordial that spans the seasons in refreshing fashion. Winter cordial, ingredients, whole blood orange, whole grapefruit, cane sugar and citric acid, lemon juice, and some ginger beer, which I have in the cooler, and then spritz spearmint oil. I've got these two cutie patootie little things here. Let's see, one of them is black walnut bitters, and then this one is spearmint oil and a little spray bottle. I'm excited. And then if you go to the website, they actually have videos of how to make these, and they seem fairly simple. We'll see, we'll see as we go along. Okay, so this one is served in a Collins glass. I don't have any Collins glasses, so I'm using a pint glass. So one and a half, I'm just eyeballing it. Three quarter ounce winter cordial. So I'm just going like, you know, most of the way with that. And I don't have an actual juicer, so I'm just gonna use my hand for this. Oh, lemon juice is squirting everywhere. Three quarters of an ounce is about half of a lemon. Okay, and then fill it with ice. Pour it in here. Okay, and then you top with the ginger beer. So they sent cock and bowl ginger beer, which I have had before. I believe this one is very spicy. And the way they showed it on the video was they poured it down the spoon, which I thought was really cool. So I'm just gonna do that and I'm basically just gonna top it off. I'm not measuring two ounces because I wanted to be cool like them. All right, we'll see, maybe that was two ounces. Boopity boop. And then you finish it off with a spritz of the spearmint oil. It's not spraying, oh, I just sprayed the counter. There we go, okay. Oh, I'm super excited. Oh, that is spearminty and aromatic. That's really good. Super yummy, you wanna try it? Sorry, there was an ice cube that ran away. I found it. It's not bad. Yeah, it's like a very, 
aromatic mule. Mm-hmm. You know, like it doesn't taste too, it, it's not too overpowering. Right. But it's got a nice, you know, sort of sweet, spearminty. It, it's more sweet than spearmint. Mm. Um, well, the spearmint is more like you're smelling it that, rather than tasting it because mm-hmm. it's just a spritz on top. Oh. You know, it's kind of yeah. like having a sprig of mint in there. Yeah, it's good. It's nice and sweet. Be a good summer drink. I like it. Yeah, it does taste very refreshing. Mm-hmm. Okay, cocktail number two is going to be the Fibonacci on the Fritz. So this one, straight from San Antonio's Hotel Emma, bartender and avid nature lover Chelsea Santos has crunched the numbers, balanced the elements, and arrived at the perfect formula to match the crisp air as the final strains of winter float through the budding beginnings of spring. In this coupe, it takes two types of citrus, lemon and orange, to awaken the warm heartiness of apple, cardamom, smoked maple, and walnut. And a sequence of ingredients such as this can only be completed by an adventurous American whiskey that ties everything together into something far greater than the sum of its parts. Okay, so we start with two ounces of new American whiskey. Two ounces of new American whiskey. One ounce of the cardamom apple apple maple syrup. Mmm. Oh, that smells smoky. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That smells really good. Quarter ounce of lemon juice. Okay, that seems like a quarter. Okay, quarter ounce of orange juice. And three dashes, not drops, of black walnut bitters. That's this little guy, right? Dash one, dash two, dash three. Oh, those smell amazing. And then you just shake and pour. You're supposed to use a double strainer for this, but I don't have one, so we're just gonna use this strainer. Let's give it a taste. Oh, that's so good. I love this. And try it, because otherwise I'm gonna drink it all. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. What is it's it? It's Fibonacci on the fritz. It's smoky and sweet. Whoa. Yeah. Mmm. You like it? That's super good. Isn't it? Yeah, it's really tasty. That is amazing. I want that all of the time. I love that. Yeah, that's super great. I love that a lot. I love you. <laughs> Whatever this is though, this is, that's like, you can't just buy this somewhere. This cardamom apple maple syrup, which sucks because this is delicious and I know that's what makes it, you know? Okay, now for the last one. I'm really excited about this last one. Okay, so this one I need to actually smoke some hickory chips. Do you have something that's non flammable I can burn things on? What? <laughs> I need to <laughs> I need a non flammable yeah. thing to burn stuff on. Oh yeah, very good. I love my husband. I've seen people do this at bars where they smoke it and put it in the glass and then your glass smells all smoky. I super love smoky flavored stuff, like a good peaty scotch right up my alley. So I'm really excited about this one. This one was super smoky too. This is one of my 10 pound ballast weights out of the race car. Oh, you're supposed to put this one on a speaker and then play like, I don't know, some sort of rock music, heavy metal, who knows. Uh, I don't have a speaker like that that you can actually place something on top of, at least not, you know, anywhere around here. So I'm gonna skip that step. I am going to put all of the ingredients in this glass and kind of mix them, and then after I smoke this glass, I will pour it into here. And because I don't have a large ice cube, I'm just going to use little ice cubes and shake it like I did the other ones. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, so one and a half ounces whiskey, quarter ounce. Black cherry syrup. Mmm, that smells good. I love black cherry stuff too, so I'm telling you guys, all of these sound so good. I was so excited about this box. And then four dashes, not drops, of the cherry bark vanilla bitters. All right, doesn't that just sound good? Cherry bark vanilla bitters? Yum. Now let's smoke some stuff. Oh Lord almighty, you are gonna burn the house down. All right, safety tip. Propane, do not, under any circumstances, use these inside without proper ventilation. A mask, lack of filming equipment. Oh my God. Anything, do not, under any circumstances, do this. Okay, I think that's good. I think that's good. Smoking. Thank you. 
Good, good. Please put that away. Anything else you need from the garage? No. Chainsaw? <laughs> Nothing? You're positive? <laughs> it smells good. All right. I don't know how long you're supposed to leave it on here. It just says you'll see the glass filling with the smoke. So, okay. That's, whoa. <laughs> There's definitely smoke in there. Okay. Then I'm going to pour this in there and add a cherry. You know, you would have a big ice cube to make it look like there's more alcohol in there because this is ridiculous. Should have put this in a tiny glass since I don't have a giant. Whatever. I'm going to taste this now. Not as good as I wanted it to be. The glass is definitely smoky, so you get that bit of smokiness, but it's not nearly as smoky as that last cocktail. It's not bad, don't get me wrong. It's just not as good as I was wanting it to be. Like this one, by far my favorite, right here. Mm. I love that. Unique flavors, smoky and sweet and just wonderful. This one, has the smoky glass, so you have that essence of smokiness, which I really dig. Like, I would like to put that one in a smoked glass, but the, the cherry cordial syrup of it, just, I, I, it kind of tastes, I don't know, basic? <laughs> Colin, you wanna taste it? I think um, compared to the other one, I'm not as impressed, but it's still good. Hint of propane. Hint of propane. Yeah, last one was better. Yeah. This one's much more flavorful. Like it hits you with this huge wave of flavor. Something almost a little sour at the end. I think it's the cherries. The cherries are tart, you know, so we'll I think that's tart. probably yeah. what you're... Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. It's yeah. just not nearly as good as the other one. Great. But overall, fun to make. All three cocktails were good and drinkable and wonderful. This one is my new best friend and I love it so much. I love this drink. I'm gonna be sad when I run out of that syrup. So this is a super fun box, and I love that you can skip months if you're not interested. I know that everybody's on lockdown right now because of coronavirus, but what I did last night, I called my sisters, we had a Zoom conference with a glass of wine, and we just chatted, and it was just, you know, a sister night with wine and drinking and fun, and it was really, really great to do that you know, because we've all been alone and it's a scary time right now. And that was, that was a really fun thing to do. So I highly encourage you guys, call your friends, call your family, have a drink and just chat over Zoom, see each other's faces, you know? I know you can't go to a bar right now, but you can still relate to each other and have a good time. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will leave all of the information in the description box where you can get this and all of the different cocktails that I created today. These were super amazing. Um, and, and you know, all the info on the whiskey and everything. So definitely check out the description box. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you have more suggestions or boxes or anything you'd like to see me review, definitely shout it out. I mean, somebody shouted this out to me and I was like, yeah, let's do it. So I'm here, I listen, I always read the comments. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.